<laughs> it's margarita time. I'm happy. <laughs> margarita time somewhere. You can only hope, right? Uh, I'm recording. Oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> You're like that. You like to sneak in on it. Well, it's Monday morning here. We're going to see this on Thursday, but we're recording on Monday morning because Peter's got a busy schedule this week doing videos and so there'll be more machine videos coming out and just all kinds of stuff going on with our social media. If you're not following our social media on Facebook, uh, the YouTube channel, Instagram even, we have an Instagram, it's not real active, but we do have an Instagram that if you're an Instagram follower or you know somebody who is, you can like and follow us there. Um, of course we have an email that goes out once a week. and. So we have lots of ways to connect with you besides just coming in the store because although that's the best, I mean, who wouldn't want to come see 9,000 square feet of fiberific fun, right? Um, so I'm back in the yarn department right now. Jessica's working with the customer and we got staff up front getting ready to open up. Um, and I want to show you some new yarn that just came in from the Wonderland company. I love Wonderland yarns because they have a flamingo in their logo. Mm. I mean, their yarn's amazing too, but I love that they have a flamingo in their yoga logo. I think that's really fun. Um, so we got some new Wonderland yarns. They're beautiful. The color intensity, I mean, I don't know what else to say, Peter. The color intensity is the best. I mean. Let's start with this color right let's here. Let's start with this. Mary Ann is the type of yarn that it is. It's got a, um, let me find what the content is, the fiber. Superwash, Merino, and Nylon. So there's 475 yards in this skein, which is a nice, chunky skein. This one's called Glowingly. And look how pink and pretty it is. I love this. Um, and the twist on this yarn, I just, it's such a nice yarn. It's got a nice twist to it so that when you knit it, it's going to hold your stitch and look really pretty. Have you knit with any Wonderland yarn yet, Peter? No, I want to do a swatch of this one, though. Okay. Because we're doing swatches, but I need to yeah. finish my... I got two rows left on my other swatch from okay. the shop. So, and that kind of brings us to this point. We are doing what's called swatches now on all our yarn. So you can have a little chunk, just a little square chunk, that would be showing you how the yarn knits out. So this particular yarn is this one here. And I'm not seeing the tag on it, but there'll be a tag on it. So this is the yarn. It's kind of a lumpy, bumpy. It's really pretty. Look That's how pretty that knits pretty. up. Yeah. Um, and so when, I make good fingerless mitts. Yeah. When we um, make a, a swatch, we're going to do it out of just one skein of a particular style of yarn. So like all this yarn right here, there'll just be one skein that we'll do a swatch out of. But what's left of that skein, we're going to sell at 50% off that single skein. So they're just going to be on a little cake plate here. So if you're looking for a, some yarn and maybe you don't need an entire skein, um, all we've knitted out of it is just a swatch. So it's not very much. But it gives you a chance to kind of get an idea of what the yarn um, will knit out like. Because you can't always tell when it's in a skein how it's going to knit. But these Wonderland colors, look at this one. That's pretty with denim. That'd be gorgeous with denim. This one's really pretty too. Look how, that looks like sherbet. That looks like some of the colors in a quilt. It does look like colors. I've got a quilt back there we're going to show you here in a minute that I just got the top finished. So there's blues, there's grays. Oh, there's blues. That's a real pretty. Too fast. But that little purple. Yeah. That was going to make a real pretty little spot. So I would do socks out of these. I would do a shawl out of these. Um, I could, you could do, gosh, so many things. Just depends on what you want to make. This Look would make this a one. striking shawl because of the contrast between the light and dark. It would. And this one, too. This one would be really pretty. Thank you, Jessica. They're all really gorgeous yarns. And they just knit. I, I think if you got them knitted, you'd love Oh, them. and we have in-house project bags. In-house project bags. So these are really nice. One of our staff members makes these. She does a super job. It's fully lined. It's the perfect size for, you know, let me just show you right here. Mm -hmm. You drop your cake in there. How many cakes can you out. fit in there? You probably get a couple. But I would only, I mean, yeah. I'm usually just working on one project at a time. So I have one skein of yarn. I pull from the center. I can keep this closed and the yarn just pulls out as I'm knitting. Oh, is that how you use those? Yeah. And then I can leave it like <laughs> sitting on the floor or, you know, and, and there's room in there also for my needles, the particular project I'm working on. So like 
Just like with your cross stitch, you know how you have one bag for each project? Yeah. Same concept. I would need the whole tree, Cappy. I know, you would, wouldn't you? For all my socks. But I always have like a bag going with a project in it, so. Oh, look at this flamingo one. I didn't know there was a look at the flamingo one. Oh, you knit socks. I do. I'm knitting a pair right now. You should. That needs to be yours. That does need to be mine. That's really stinking cute. So anyway, these nice little bags, they're only like, what, $14 for the bag. They're really fun. Um, we've also got little zippered bags here. These are fun too. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that nice? So put your needles, always, put your yeah. stitch markers, all those little kind of things in there too. So we've always got something here for you to, you know, help organize your supplies. The um, Malabrigo Knit Along started Friday. We had a really good turnout. We had almost 20 people for that. Yep, the shawl's, the shawl's over, there. over there. Let's go look at the shawl real quick. Um, it's. I think they can still get in on it if they wanted to. I know. Um, I know. Sorry. But it's no this right here. This is the shawl that they're knitting, and we've got some of our people who are already posting pictures on the Facebook page where they've started their shawl. They're lovely. Uh, had a really fun group. About 20 people came in, and they were all in the room chattering, just having a ball. Um, there's door prizes and things like that. You could still register for that. I think there's like maybe two or three openings in that in that group. It's a free group. But it is registering so we can manage the group and know how many we're expecting. Because um, we're giving you door prizes and fun stuff when you show up. You know what the best thing I heard was? What was that? On Friday when they were coming in, one uh, customer goes, Okay, well, let me go meet my new best friend. Aww, that's so sweet. Yeah. yeah. And that's why we do it. It's, it's not, we're not trying to make money off of it as much as we're just trying to give you guys a place to hang out and meet friends. That's exactly it. When... Lenine opened the store. That was her vision. This was supposed to be a place for people to just gather and, and enjoy each other's company. You know, do whatever kind of crafting it is. We've got knitters. We've got cross-stitchers. We've got wool enthusiasts. We've got quilters. We've got um, beading. I've gotten into beading lately. I mean, there's just so many things. Macrame. Happening. Macrame. Yeah, who, who would have thought macrame comes back? It's seriously making me giggle a little bit. You know, I was watching this uh, knife smithing video. Big blacksmith guy, you know. He's, you know, big just tough. like a like a blacksmith would look, you know, big yeah, and big, tough. And he's strong. like, you know, I don't do these videos because I want people to see what I make. This isn't about what I make. I want to do these videos to inspire you to, to make. So whether you're a maker or whether you do macrame, and then he kind of chuckled. Macrame? Yeah, he chuckled. What a random He chuckled. He said, mention. he goes, macrame, and he goes, well, you know, because those guys that do the paracord stuff, that's macrame. <laughs> <laughs> It's the paracord stuff. It sort of yeah. is, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I died laughing that's so really hard. That's really funny. Yeah, that was funny. So, yeah, we've got lots of choices here for you. Cross stitch, if you, they're, the new cross stitch is in the back. Um, Deborah and Nancy just got back from market. And so the cross stitch department, although it's already really well stocked, with lots of floss. I don't know if you had a shot down this hallway of this floss. It's just Well, it's hard to get it all in because all the cross stitch is also right here on the on the runway strip right here. It is. In it the is. back of the store. Cross stitch and knitting. And that whole back wall right there, that's all cross. Yeah. We we've, we've really cross stitch is really um, in demand and so we try to get what you want and um, There'll be a new video, I'm sure, from Nancy. Last year, it took three videos, didn't it, to get it all in, to show everything she bought at Market, because there was just so much stuff. We should have Ladine do it. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, she'd get bored too quick. Um, there, You can still go to our website and go to the pre-order section and order what she bought there. Hey, can we, can, we, but... can we send that photo to Ladine and say, oh, it looks like you're going to have a busy floss too? Yeah, we should. When you we come should. back. Let's do that. We'll do that. We'll send it to her and say, hey, when you get back, just wait what you've got to do. But cross stitch is huge. Please come see us. We've got so many things here for you to work on. Lots of fabric. Um, that's one of the things I think that's hard to find sometimes is a variety of fabric. We've got lots of different stitch counts and, and textures and colors and linens and things for you to be stitching on. So, um, yeah, if you're looking for cross stitch, stay tuned because there's going to be some big news and new stuff coming in in the next few days that you're going to absolutely love. So, don't be shy about that. And so now we're going to go up front and look at fabric, Peter. Okay. Because that's fun. Let's do it. Okay. I'm just going to keep recording. Okay. Well, then, yeah, then they get to see. Look at the punch needle stuff we got in. We got some really cool punch needle stuff in the other day, too. Look at these little birdies. These are so fun. 
Isn't this cute? Yeah. And we have some new Lori Holt thread. The Lori Holt um, yarn. She calls it thick thread, basically, but it's yarn. But it works great for punch needle. And Dawn's working up a sample right now using that thread. And I'm really excited to get it. We're getting all 40 colors. Um, and it comes in little skeins. It's beautiful. It's going to be great for punch needle or even for small crochet projects. So we're excited to get that in. I, it should be any time. Just... You know, it depends on when they ship it. We're at their mercy. It punches real. I was watching watch Dawn it? work with yeah. it. It punches really well. Yeah, it's a good looking yarn. It's a really good looking yarn. Oh, oh speaking of Dawn. Dawn. Look at her. She's trying hey, to Dawn. Squeeze by. I was trying to Hey, tell by. us about the Lori Holt uh, yarn, yarn that we're getting. Oh, well, it's really soft. It's 100% cotton, which I love. It's a, is it called fingering weight? I know this much about yarn, but it's, a it's cotton. beautiful yeah. for crocheting. Uh, I know you can knit with it too. Uh, I like to, uh, it'd be great for pom-poms, I'll tell you oh. that. That'd be awesome. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate some stuff with it when we get it. Some keychains, we're going to do a little macrame with it. We're going to do some, uh, um, crocheting with it. So it's, yeah, and how many colors, Cappy? Forty. Forty colors. Forty colors. Forty beautiful some are a little bright, some are vintage -y looking, so you know, the Lori Holt colors. Everybody knows who Lori Holt is, and if you don't, you should find out who she is, because she makes yarn. Yeah. So, see you later. Bye, Bye Dawn. <laughs> we, she, we caught her going to work, sneaking into the work. Um, okay, so we're going to look at some fabric. I've not researched where it's at yet, so this will be seeking. Oh, look at this. I hadn't seen this. Oh, see, this is what happens when you walk. Look at this. Is that adorable? How long have we had that? That is stinking cute. Oh my gosh, since August of last year. Look at this. It's on a bottle. Oh, it is on a bottle. It's That's on a awesome. Bottle. Isn't that funny? Holiday bottle wraps. Now, see, I should have had that for. Wouldn't that have been perfect to give somebody a bottle oh. of wine? Or a so you know that new, you know that new cat fabric that we got. Yes. Somebody suggested on the comments because I was reading the comments this morning. She suggested, oh, that cat fabric would be perfect for the wine bottle holders, and she yes. goes, well, y'all should get that. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. But we that, have to do that that would be but awesome with that be, cat yeah, fabric. This is made out of flannel, wine, but you could cozy. absolutely use that that uh, cat fabric. Wouldn't that be cute for a yeah. wine cozy? Okay. Sorry, we digress. I just got distracted there for a hot minute. Um, but will that fit a whiskey bottle? It might. A bourbon bottle would fit very nicely in there. I could do that. I could do a little bourbon bottle in there. Okay, let's start here. This one's, we'll start with this one because it's right here and I can show it to you. This is from Binertex and this is called Stitch Garden and we're loving it. Yeah, Stitch Garden and it, typically I don't buy um, sewing machine themed stuff because for whatever reason, it doesn't usually serve really good, but because this was cross stitch and sewing machine, we had to have it. Look at the little cross stitch. Dawn alphabet. already made a project bag out of it. She did, and it's adorable, adorable, adorable. It's got the floss on it, the scissors, the sewing machines, the buttons. Again, more cross stitch. That looks like some ribbon. It's just so cute. I just yeah, project bags. Oh my gosh. Tammy Blaylock needs to be in here getting stuff for project bags. Look how cute that is. It's in a hoop. Look, it's in a hoop. Isn't that fun? And then there's just some pretty florals. I mean, these don't even really have anything necessarily sewing, but the florals are really pretty to go with it. I love that feather in there. Um, some nice checks. The alphabet, look at this. That is a cross-stitch project. You know what, you know what, you know what that'd be good for? English paper piecing. Yeah, those little three eighth inch yeah. English paper pieces, and you can cut out the letters in your name. Well, and, and you, you can make yeah. like a name tag. You could make a name tag. A little Wouldn't small that be fun? <laughs> You could you get on that, Peter, right now. You know okay. what? I might. You might. So here's and then. Oh, here. oh, it's on white on white. Look. White on white. Get that one. You couldn't even see that one. Oh, that's that's precious. Hold on, let it focus. Can you see them at let all? Let it focus. Come on, letters. Where are you? They're there. Oh man, you can't. Oh. I need to get the black light. If I had the black light, you could see it. Um, but yeah, that had letters on it for those of you who couldn't see. But yeah, there's so much fun here. Here's a panel. So there's your little panel upside down, right side up. Loving this panel. This would be cute in a sewing room. This would be really cute in a sewing room. A sewing machine cover? Sewing machine cover. Yeah, it'd make a great sewing machine cover, wouldn't it? That'd be really fun. 
or curtains in a sewing machine room. Um, there is a pattern here. So if you would want to make a quilt, you could. Garden Stars is the pattern. It's got the sewing machines in the center of it. It's just a free, free uh, pattern, but it's really cute. Again, I, I this would be great for um, a quilt guild. I mean, for a quilt guild swap, that'd be fun. Make that into a block and use that in a quilt guild swap. Okay, so that is Benner Tech Stitch Garden. If you're looking for that one, Benner Tech Stitch Garden. Okay, we're gonna go over here to another Benner Tech line. Jamming on the radio this morning. Okay, this is called Grilling and Chilling. It's from Benner Tech. Chill yeah. your grill. Father's Day's coming up. And Father's Day is always one of those hard ones, I think, for stitchers always to necessarily come up with a fun idea. This would be great for a Father's Day project. Um, so here's a panel. You could chop it up, make it into placemats for your patio or hot pads to use with the grill. Um, this is a fun line. It's got some fun pieces in it. Another thing, again, that you can do uh, a quilt with, you got somebody who's like a grill. I've got some people who like their, like to smoke, their, have smokers and do all that kind of stuff. Um, picnic table, covers, uh, placemats and the whole thing for your back patio. Just some really cute fun, fun stuff. Really cute, really cute. I love it. Benner Tech's Chillin' and Grillin'. So that's another, another keeper. Look, this one's vegetarian. <laughs> vegetarian grilling? Yeah. It's all the vegetables. It's all the vegetables. There you go. And then here's the hamburgers and the hot dogs. And then here's all your parts on your... Let's eat this till... I need to get over to Banter's next door, the meat shop, and show him. And here's your flames right yeah. here. There's ketchup, mustard, all your sauces. There is a grill with actual grill food on it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's just kind of different. We got some wacky stuff in. We also got that cat fabric in with the wine. And we have kits for that now. Let me show you the kits because when we lifted it, now we're gonna walk over here. I'm running this all over today. So we showed you um, the last What's New, this kit, this line. Here is spinning frames called Kissed Quilts. Um, it's from Northcott Whiskers and Wine and it includes the binding. And they didn't put the size on there. Or right here 57 by 84 so there's a kit it's got the little panel that's really fun and like you said somebody mentioned that that would be a good one for wine um, wine bottle covers or table setting for a wine thing all right we've got some cafe from free spirit which I think I can figure out where that's at over there okay look at Betty's pointing that general direction. Here it is. You've got some other case that's in the blended stuff still. So if you're a big case fan, but this is some of the newer stuff. Now I will tell you when case does his fabric, he'll come out with 70 or 80 bolts of fabric. And much as I would love to buy every single piece of it, it's just <laughs> more than we can do. So we try to get a little bit of different. These are kind of pastelish, which typically we go a little, he's pretty bright but um, there are some lighter colors no. in here. And uh, no. this is some cafe. Got his calendar still for 2024. It's not too late. That one's hanging over my desk. And the Quilts by the Sea uh, book, which is really, I love this book. Peter was drooling on it. He's I got, love that book. It's What's so fun about it is he has all these lovely pictures and stories of the quilts. And then in the back are all the patterns, all the patterns. And it's a $35 book, but I think there's like 15 patterns in here, which is crazy. So it's a really good book. And they're basic patterns. That's what's cool about them is they're not tons of half square triangles. It's not real complex flying geese. It's basically just squares and, and sashing because he works with the color rather than the quilt shape. So it's really interesting to, to really study those patterns and see how he makes them because it's a, it's a, a learning curve in how to combine fabrics and colors. It's, it's very, very, very interesting. Okay, now we're gonna go look at the solids.
because we have received 70 bolts. I just said I don't buy this many, but we did over here. 70 bolts. 70. The staff wasn't excited that day. <laughs> of gradations. It's called gradations. Now this is patina. But the gradations have been blended in. So see these right here? Those are gradations. There's some. There's some there. Yep. There's gradations. So we've blended these into our um, color wall. There's some up here. There's some there. You'll be able to find them pretty easily. They're from Stonehenge, which is a... When you come in, just ask for Betty. She'll show you what they're Ask for Betty. At. She'll show you what all of them are. <laughs> or Pam. They both know. But Stonehenge no, just Betty. gradations. Yeah. Stonehenge gradations. And it came in every single color. These are great basics to have in your collection of stash because they'll blend with so many things. When I'm making, here's some more. You can almost just spot them. Yeah. There, there. Here's some here in the peaches. Ooh, those are pretty. Yeah, those are pretty. I'm kind of on a peach craze. Um, oh, look at these. Look at these beiges and grays. Those are pretty. That. Look at this one. Look at the depth. So we've had these before. Um, you guys loved them. Look at those browns. Yeah, aren't those pretty? Look at those down there. Mm, so much texture. Appearance of, of just the colors. Mm, look at those charcoals. Look at those charcoals are pretty too. Charcoal and these grays up here. So yeah, every single color you can imagine, we've got the gradations. So there's over 70. Um, we did blend them into the color wall. So they're not all featured out but they are here so if you're looking for anything in the gradations line if you've got a pattern that calls for that we've got all 70 colors so don't hesitate to come see us for that because it's very pretty we love it okay i have another line called well let's before we talk about that line let's do this real quick um let's talk about classes because oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh look look what we have the three little ducks. Look how cute these are. Can you stand it? This is the Ama, a, Amigurumi. Amigurumi. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. These are bigger. Sometimes you see these really, really tiny. The really, really tiny ones are not for the faint of heart or for a beginner. These are for a beginner. These are a class that you can take. Um, it's on March 23rd from 10:30 to 12:30, which is a Saturday. And so she started with these, and once a month she's going to be doing some of these for a while. The next one is an elephant. An elephant, and we've got the picture up. She hasn't got the sample in here yet. Um, but this is Kayla's um, crochet class. If you want to come join up for that, go to the website under classes and get signed up. It's going to sell out. I, I know it's going to sell out. Um, it's close to it already, so if you're thinking about signing up for that class, sign up. And you can also sign up for the elephant class. She's also doing a crochet blanket class, which will be like 12 sessions. One ses At each session, you'll learn two different crochet stitches, and you make about a 10-inch square practicing that stitch. And if you go to all 12 sessions, at the end, you can put them together and make a blanket, which I think would be really fun because it would be a, a record of all the stitches you learned to do. So I think that'd be a really fun class to do as well. Um, so that's really cool. Um, the ducks, the blanket, and then Dawn's doing a make it, take it, which you just saw Dawn a few minutes ago. Those of you who have done anything with Dawn, you know she's an outstanding teacher. She's really, really good at what she teaches and, and what she knows. She's just, she's awesome. She's doing a make it, take it uh, pin cushion, and it's a little tomato pin cushion using a yo-yo maker, and she's going to show you some other things to do with yo-yos. Who knew a yo-yo could be so diverse and useful. If you don't know what a yo-yo is, this is a good reason to take the class. A little piece of fabric, you fold it, you stitch it, you put them together. They were like the staple of the 1930s and 40s. Everybody just made yo-yos all the time to use up their scraps. So um, that make it take it is towards the end of the month, I want to say the 29th maybe in March, but you want to sign up for that. And then Jennifer Fulton is having another class, which her first class went so well that she did pressing matters. Now she's doing another class that is fabric cutting, and I am suspect it's going to sell out too. She's a wealth of knowledge, another extremely talented teacher that we have here. We're so lucky to have such good teachers, and I would strongly suggest, if you, even if you've been quilting for years and years and years, take Jennifer's fabric cutting class. I think you'll find it very helpful. Lots of good information from her. And then the shop hop's coming. 
if you can believe it or not. Wow. The Shop Hop will be here March 20th through the 23rd. We have sold out of our passports in mugs, but the other six shops, or the five shops, Crimson Tate, Backdoor, Love It So, Quilt Quarters, Quilts Plus. So any of those five shops can get you a passport. They still have them. We've sold out of all that we started off with. Um, we'll, we'll be able to accommodate more as time goes on. But for right now, if you need a passport, you need to contact one of those other shops so that they can um, get you hooked up with a passport with a mug because a mug comes with that. It's really cool. There's actually a website or a Facebook page. Indiana Quilters Trail Shop Hop 2024. <laughs> so if you want to go look at that, there's lots of great information about that Shop Hop. Bring your friends. It's going to be a lot of fun. Prizes to give away and um, just, it's a fun trip to do. We look forward to doing that. Okay, talked about all that. Talked about Wonderland, talked about that. Talked about cross stitch. Let's go over and look at handy quilter rulers. We got some really new handy quilter rulers in that are very cool. So let me see if we can find them. And they can see the machine department. Let's see. What have they done with them? Handy culture rulers. I wonder what they're doing with them. I don't know. She's pointing this way. Oh, around here. Okay. Here we go. Oh, this is it. So they put together sets for handy quilter. This is the solid half circle ruler set. So you've got several in this set. Um, those of you who do ruler work on your machine, whether it's a a, a domestic machine or a long arm machine, these are the rulers that you want. So we're loving that we've got these available to you. Come in and check them out. If you uh, bought a handy quilter with us, you get 20% off the price on these. So I would definitely come take a look at them. Um, all these rulers up here, so, so helpful for all those sewists out there that are trying to do so. There you go. All right. Just so you've got an idea. Lots of our resources here. For oh, there's the new HG9 BE. Professional weight machine. Now, this is, Peter has this machine. I have this machine. Um, not in this color. Not in this color. Yours is just a regular white one. But pretty. It's a lovely machine. That's pretty. It is really pretty. And I love the table with it. Yeah. It looks like a tough I one. I could use that table on my machine. I bet you could. I and then I would could. have an Oreo cookie machine. You would have an Oreo cookie machine. That'd be really fun. Okay. So let's go. We got one more fabric and some notions to look at. So stand by. We're going to go find those things and get right with you. Okay, more fabric for you. I, I, this is, we've had several fabrics to show. It's that time of year we're starting to get more fabric back in. Um, this is from the Figo Company. It's called Wabi, W-A-B-I. And look how pretty this is. It has such a nice hand to it. And um, it looks like the texture is, is a printed, but it looks like it has like a linen feel to it. Mm -hmm. Isn't this fun with this big moth on it? Mm -hmm. um, Lots of fun pieces in here. There's that same moth fabric with a charcoal background and kind of a golden rod. That is so cool. Um, and then the companion pieces to go with it are lovely. It does have an Asian feel to it, I think, because it's called Wabi. Mm. W-A-B-I. Look how fun that. Oh, that one English paper piece. <gasps> mm, with that English paper piece. Look at this one. Look at these big... Oh, that's lotus pretty. flowers are those lotus flowers maybe that is pretty that's stunning it's so um geometric it, yeah. but at the same time floral which is kind of odd that it can have a geometry to it there's some stripes love me some good stripes um here's another kind of a geometric shape that's really pretty to think of a bird um and then here's just a tone Nice tone one, nice little chevron kind of shape. And then here's, again, that lotus flower. And then there's a few more around the corner. It's turning into the blues now. That kind of diamond shape, that bird shape. And then here it is again with the charcoal and the goldenrod. Gosh, that's a pretty line. That's gonna make some pretty quilts. 
I know there's a sample being worked on right now for that, so stay tuned. There'll be a sample that you can see. Um, okay, some tools. Twisties. We had somebody watching one of our videos who saw this being used. They wanted it. This is for um, tightening up the hoops on your... Uh, Morgan. Morgan. Yeah, your Morgan hoop that you use for punch needle. That's what this is for, is to tighten that hoop up. And it's kind of made so that it goes around the slot and you can push it. It's not, not quite as hard to turn. So that's what this is for, the Morgan hoops. The other thing is for these little OESD 5-inch Easy Snips. These are phenomenal scissors, especially if you have anything going on with your hand that makes it hard for your um, wrist or your hand movements to be using scissors. These are great. These are just little snips that have kind of like a pair of tweezers. I'm going to turn it over so they can see the other side, Peter, because it explains it pretty good. So they're like a little tweezer. Really, really sharp. They're great for cutting threads. Um, I wouldn't be cutting fiber with it, but for snipping little threads if you're working on a project, they're great for that. And then the other thing that came in that some of you have been looking for is this OmniGrid rotating mat. This is great to take, especially if you're on a retreat weekend and you don't have much space because this little mat, you can do so much cutting on it. Um, Dawn, I know, uses it a lot. I have a rotating mat. It's not exactly this one, but a rotating mat in your system of cutting is so important because if you can leave your fabric flat and turn the mat instead of turn the fabric so that the mat turns with the fabric and cut it you get more accurate cuts so what's my price uh 31.99 nice i like yeah, it it's a nice little mat really is a nice little mat works really well spin spin spins so those are the what's new notions that we've got that were fun and that that's all that's on my list i get through my list pretty good today that's a wrap is it too good so yeah if you're uh watching this video for the first time and the first time you found our shop you have just found the great channel on youtube we've got almost 400 videos on our youtube channel uh peter is our our, uh, we call him Steven Spielberg in the shop because he's our director and editor on all our films. Um, so there's lots of things. There's machine classes, there's punch needle, there's English paper piecing, there's quilting, there's just so many classes. If you've just finding this channel, you're going to have a blast. Just take the time to stroll through the playlists and find something interesting to you. Um, if you didn't see something and you want to know about something, shoot us a, a little comment underneath the um, video that you're watching now. Say, hey, I'd like to know about XYZ or whatever. We'll, we'll find out for you and we'll let you know. Um, our website's www.alwaysandstitches1.com. You can find everything in the store that's available for sale online is on that sign. Um, there are some products we're not allowed to sell online, so they're not online. They're only in-store. So if you want to buy something that you've seen in the video but you can't find it online, you can contact our orders department. It's orders at alwaysandstitches1.com. That's their email. Or you can call the shop, 317-776-4227, and we're happy to help you ask for the orders department. Deborah's usually working in there. She's our um, shopping concierge service. So if you need something, we'll work it out for you. Other than that, I think that's all I have to say today, other than have a great week. Um, it's warm in Indiana this week, which is... Amazing. We are, we're supposed to get 60 almost degrees, 60 degrees, which is sandal weather for me. It means I get my toes out and I'm putting on my sandals. So see, there they are. Toes are out, babe. It's time. Got to, if the sun's out, the toes are out. To, sun's out. Yeah. Yeah. If I, I could have sand, my so, toes would be in the sand, but not in central Indiana. You need a little sandbox for your desk, Cappy. <laughs> I do. Underneath I your desk. I can't. I can put a sandbox under yeah. my thought. Hmm. I have to figure out how to make that happen. Well, have a great week. We look forward to seeing you next week on what's new. And, uh, is this the 100th episode? This is the 100th episode. This Kathy. is the 100th episode. <gasps> okay. You forgot. I did forget. I forgot. We both forgot. I wrote it in my journal last night that today was the 100th this episode. This is 100th. Okay. I have three things uh, I'm going to give away. What are you going to give away? You know what? I'm not going to show them what I'm going to give away. You're just going to give stuff away. I'm going to give stuff away. And, and they can see what they get. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then we'll, we'll that's what we do. I've got I love three it. things to give away. Three things. Actually, because it's our 100th episode, I'm going to make it five things to give away. Cause, five? Yeah. So I, I need you to comment on what is your favorite thing about Always in Stitches. It, we've been here 17 years. It'll be 17, uh, 18, it'll be 18 years in August. 17 years. It'll be 17 years in August. We opened in 2007, so we have to do the math. Anyway, we, we are excited to be here. And yeah, this is our 100th episode. I totally forgot. 
um, 100th episode. So I'm going to give away five things. I'm going to tell you what they are, but I'm going to give away five things. And I know what three of them are for sure. And so you need to comment. What's your favorite thing about Always in Stitches? And we'll pick five winners. Five. Five. That's a lot. Five winners. So tell us what you like about Always in Stitches. There's lots of things to like about us, I hope. Have a great stitchy day. We'll see you next week.